This is InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPad mini, your iPad 3, iPad 4, whatever iPad you have that's running on iOS 6.0 or above. So if you have an iPad 1, uh, this jailbreak isn't for you, but there is jailbreaks available from Red Snow that will allow you to jailbreak your iPad 1 or any device that's running below 6.0. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are at 6.1. So go ahead and connect your iPad and make sure that it says iOS 6.1 or above. If it doesn't, go ahead and uh, check for updates and update your, your iPad. Now, after you do that, you're going to want to make sure you have a backup of your iPad, of everything that you have on your iPad. And just in case something happens, you have a backup of everything. Once you're backed up, synced up, and you're up to 6.1 or above, you're going to want to go to this website here. I'll provide the link down below and download the program that you're using for what for what computer you're using. So if you have Linux, Mac, Windows, go ahead and just click on the link. I already downloaded it. And you're just going to go ahead and double click, open. And here where it says evasion, you're going to want to right click. If you have a Macintosh, you just hit control, left click and you're going to want to open if you are, do have a windows computer um, you're going to want to open as administrator so go ahead and click on open it's going to ask you if you're sure open and it's going to tell you if you have a pass code or password on your ipad you're going to want to disable that so the way you do that is just go to your ipad click on settings then you're going to go down to general and under general you're going to see right here where it says passcode lock go ahead and turn that off now there's another place where you would have to turn off your passcode and it would be in itunes if you have a backup if you have a encryption on your device here if you see right here where it says encrypt local backup go ahead and click that and type in your password hit ok and you're going to unencrypt it. Now, if, if it's not clicked, most, most of you guys won't have the, the encryption for the local backup um, checked. But if you do, you, you have to undo it. Now, now that that's undone, I'm going to go back here to this. Hit OK. And I'm going to disconnect my iPad, reconnect it. And as you can see now, I'm uh, able to jailbreak, or I have this uh, jailbreak button and I could click on it. So now it's recommended to close iTunes, so I'm gonna quit it. Once you quit, you'll see right here that I could uh, click on it and it's telling me it found my uh, actual iPad. So I have the iPad 3, Wi-Fi, iOS 6.1, and it's telling me it's supported. So I'm gonna go ahead and click jailbreak, and it's connecting to the device. As you can see, the iPad is going to turn off, and it looks like it's restarting itself. Uh, it says, waiting for device to reboot. Do not touch your device. So go ahead and just leave it plugged in. Don't disconnect it for whatever reason. Now the iPad has restarted, and I'm just going to fast forward through this so we could get through it a little bit faster, but I'll let you see what, what happens through the whole process what it looks like now it says to continue please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon only tap it once the screen will go black and then return to home screen so now I'm gonna go to the iPad unlock it and as you can see here it says jailbreak with the new uh, jailbreak evaders icon and I'm gonna click on it once I clicked on it one time and as you can see the it says injecting remount remount payload so I already seen that I clicked on it and it is loading it says preparing final jailbreak data it says jailbreak complete device may restart a few times as it completes its process and you can see right there that the iPad is actually restarting itself
Okay, so now if I go in and unlock and I go here to my right, I can see that I have Cydia installed. I'll go ahead and click on Cydia. It says preparing file system, Cydia will exit when complete. Now we're going through another uh, restart. So now when I unlock, I'm gonna go back to Cydia again, click on Cydia. It's gonna ask me what type of user I am. So go ahead and click user, hacker, developer, it doesn't matter. Usually people use, uh, just click on user, hit done, and it's gonna go through its updates and you should have a jailbroken iPad running iOS 6.1 or above. Um, if this helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and don't for forget to visit informalgadget.com.